Hello, everybody. This is Rick Grantham of Excel.tv here with Oz Du Soleil. What we have next for you from the 2014 Model Off Financial Modeling World Championship is a segment called the Excel Challenge. Now, the Excel Challenge was the, the title of this was Excel Golf. And what this meant was in the fewest number of keystrokes, you had to solve an Excel problem, or the fewest number of characters you had to solve an Excel problem. So what you'll see in here is Oz Du Soleil and Bill Jellin, Mr. Excel, um, talking on different sides of the room. So a lot of the voices you'll hear in the background is actually Oz Du Soleil, our very own on the microphone. Oz, would you mind giving your thoughts? Yeah, sure. It was a great time um, to do color commentary for an Excel challenge because um, you had a room full of people and these weren't just the finalists or the finalists girlfriends or, or, or husbands or whatever. These were people who signed up to come and, and watch a sport of Excel. It was great. Um, and the way the test was set up, there was, uh, they would open the spreadsheets and then there would be the question. And then they would start, right? And so... On the screen, there was a monitor showing if the person had the formula right or if the um, challenge had been completely solved. And here's what would happen is you'd have the problems going across, and they represent different kinds of scenarios. So you might have the formula right for some scenarios, but not all, and you weren't finished until you had a formula and solved the problem. So it was a pretty neat thing to see that, um, see the way that people approach the problems. And at the end, once somebody did, uh, oh, time, it was timed as well. And once time was up, then they compared uh, who did the solution in the fewest characters and also compared it against the judges solution and sometimes the judges had a better solution and sometimes the winner of the challenge uh, they had a better solution so it was pretty cool so and thank you this part, next part of the video all right hello again everybody okay now's the fun part now's the live challenge where we get to see what these uh, finalists can do so Earlier on this afternoon, they were split up into two groups of eight. If I can ask the first eight to get up and uh, get situated at your desk while I introduce what's going on. So this is a Excel Golf challenge. Sorry, you good? Okay. Uh, Excel Golf is in solve the task in the fewest strokes, keystrokes in this place. It's a shortest formula challenge. If we go to the next slide. We'll see an example. And so we've built a few questions that will look like, in this case, they're given some data and there's about you know, 20 columns in this question, I've just seen three. And their task is to write a formula here in this yellow cell that just references these cells up above which have some shopping list items and a single formula which will be able to extract all of those numbers and add them together. And here, these are just sort of reference things that help with the automatic marking and so on. And they've got to do that in the sh shortest they can. And here, as a question design team, we put these together, myself, Joe McDade, and Alex Gordon. And this is what we came up with. And um, it turns out, actually, that this can be made a little shorter. In, in some computers, the one plus isn't necessary, and in others it is, and we think it's to do with the currency settings on the computer, but not important. So that's an example of what these guys are going to be doing. Seven minutes they'll have for the challenge. Eight people individually. Then the top four are going to advance to a final. We're going to see the other eight finalists come through. They're going to do a different challenge. The top four of them will advance to the final. And then we'll have our third challenge, which will have the eight finalists. New question again, a bit harder. Nine minutes for that one. And we'll be seeing who can do the shortest, and uh, we'll have some prizes, first, second, third. So um, we'll put the question up that they're working on when you can see. So you can see um, you, anyone who's watching has a computer in front of them can try it as well. And, you know, good luck to everybody. So uh, finals, have you all got the files open? Uh, you need the password to open it. 
index match, all capitals, all one word, is the password to open the first file. So open that up. You'll, as you saw earlier, you'll be uh, needing to hit the start button. And is anybody not ready? We all good to go? OK. So hit start. You've got seven minutes. Good luck. All right. Now Johan, audience, if you'd like to put the, the question up. can get up and see yeah, what everybody. the questions are doing. Just, just give them enough space to work. But get up, walk around, yep. uh, have a bit of fun, be amazed at what they're doing. We're going to have Bill and Oz on the microphone. <laughs> Yep. Talking through it. Um, but don't give answers across the room now. Yeah, and don't be yelling at it. Right. And uh, when we're done, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss some of the answers and see uh, how amazing they were. All right. So, yeah. The question's about to come up on the screen. No solution yet. On this end, we have some people jumping in, jumping in with a formula already. Some people are thinking about it. Right. There, we got the first function in there. Okay. No answers yet. But they're working hard. Oh, excuse me. To see. Yeah. As soon as we get the question up there, I'll explain what we're trying to do. Okay, so we yeah, do have a, a formula here. <laughs> okay. All right, so the so question's up on the screen now. There you go. Given the uh, first date in the month. Write a single formula to return the date of the first Sunday in that month. Yeah. So right. these yellow cells, they're all going to start at, say, uh, you know, zero or, or just deleted. And you're writing something in those yellow cells you can drag across. Yep. And, um, and the spreadsheet is set up to where uh, you can watch here to monitor how they're doing. First date in the month. And right, so um, the return the if they do find a solution, Sunday. they may continue on to see if they can find a shorter solution. That's a good point, Oz. Used. What happens here typically, you, uh, the first way you think of, you, you put it in, if you like it, it works, and, and then you say, how can I make this shorter? And right. you look at ways to refine it. So we do we have formula formulas, but not side. a solution yet. We got one that works on the oh, side. Oh, yes. Well, we got here. a solution. And it's Nick Sanford has a solution. It's, it's 30 characters, and he's trying to do better. So you got, uh, you got about four minutes and a change left, everyone. Ah, See if you can make minutes. it any shorter. Oh, okay. another solution. This side, left side of the room. 19. We got 19, got 19 over here, do we? We've got formulas. Well, I feel really stupid. Mine was 70 characters. <laughs> ah. Now remember, they've got four shorter solutions. We'll advance to the finals. So uh, if you can't beat 19, don't give up. Maybe you can uh, get next place. Okay. Trying to make it shorter. Oh, on that side? Huh? Yeah, yep. we, we have somebody who's just trying to make it shorter. All right. Yes. What have they got now, Liz? He's, uh, let's see, excuse me. So we have 30, 30 characters. That's pretty good. 30. Yeah. <laughs> and you might see something oh, that says single formula. Is yes, but solved no, meaning that it didn't work for all the scenarios going across, but it did work for at least one. Yeah. 26 down to 26. 26, that's well done. Who was that? That is uh, Mr. Clark. 
Char- Char- Charlie. The top the real Charlie. estate rock star. Yeah. See? The real estate rock star. The top four advance, so keep going. It's not a real estate question, but that's okay. Well, maybe it's, you know, when ah. rent you. Rent oh. you last Sunday oh. of the month. We've got 15. <laughs> really? Oh, yes. Wow. Give me a look at that. Oh. <laughs> hmm? So we'll share we've these a, solutions. We've got a in a 19. Second. We've got a 19. Got, Peter, he got, got a 19. We got a 50. Wow. Good luck. Lord have mercy. Got a 39. A 19. All right. Al Chin is here from Key Cuts. All right. Say hello. Hello. Sunday. 38. What's up? 39 and 38. Hey. All right. Not much. All right. A little under two minutes to go. So you following what's happening? You are? Yeah. You, you work with Excel? Yeah. Okay. And how do you work with Excel? With my hands. Oh, with your hands. Okay. All right. So Don Rickles is here, everybody. <laughs> to all the finals competing, remember your score because uh, we're going to need to 26. collect them all to see who did best. So a bit of self-reporting. Remember your score. here. Got the still. 15 is the lowest I've seen so far. How much time is left? Time left, about a minute and a half. Minute and a half. Okay, 19 so far here. How, how much time do they have in right. the beginning? Seven minutes right. in total. Come on, boys. Time pressure, mate. Okay, so we had a 15. Who had the 19s? Over here. Michael over there has got a 19. And Owen over the other end has got a 19. Who had a 15? Anything better? Just 15 so far. Yeah. Got 238. In the event of a tie for fourth place. In the event of a tie, it's who got it quickest. The model also actually records how much time they took to get their yes. answer. Yes. All right. Okay. So, so far, 15 looks like I it. think 15 is going to be the winner. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you 30 more seconds. 30 everyone. seconds. 36. Right. Oh, 36 might put you in the running. 15, 19. What's next best after 15, 19, 19? 19. 19, yes. 24? Yes. Anyone got between 19 and 24? No. I'm going to. Not on this side. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Got a 24 and a 62. So you, need, right. uh, you need to beat 24. Okay, stop, everyone. Thank you. So, yes. I've got uh, Peter at 15, Michael at 19, Owen at 19, and Charles Williams at 24. Anyone could beat 24 that I didn't name? No. What do you have? Owen? Yeah, okay. You four will be advancing to the finals. Well done. To those, add your computer. Can you close it down, get section question two ready to open, waiting for the password, and can the other eight finalists please step up? Now, you'll see on the board is the 22 character solution that the question design team came up with looking at it. So, this was based around the, uh, the mod function. Dates are stored as numbers. Relying on the fact that uh, Sunday 1 January 1900, as far as Excel is concerned, was a Sunday. It actually wasn't, but that's another story. Um, We could just take what is the date mod 7, and that will sort of tell us what day of the week it is, and do some some work around that. The better solutions all took the same sort of broad approach, but did it more efficiently. Uh, You can see also a 24 character one using the weekday function. So... Can the 15, whoever had 15, can they... Peter Suen, 15. Can Peter explain how his was different than yours? You don't need the second mod function. Peter says I don't need the second mod function. There we go. And maybe, you know, you've got to change a few ones or pluses or minuses, but he's, uh, he's found the way to make that more efficient. So I'm sure uh, at some stage we will post up publicly the, the best solutions for this. Okay, is everyone ready for round two? We're missing a finalist on this side. Are we missing a finalist? Well, I guess they're at a disadvantage then. Okay. Uh All right. So, 
Open up the round two workbooks. The password is ALT ESV, all one word, all capitals. A L T E S V. Anyone knows what that does? Place specialist values, that's right. ALT ESV. A L T E S V is the password. Okay. A L T. So, you're about to hit the start button. I will start the clock in three, two, one. Hit start, seven minutes. Good luck. Here we go. And uh, we'll get the question for you up on the big screen in just a moment. Alt ESV. Oh, we had some people with password issues. Yeah, it started late. Some, some, there we go. The question's up. So a bit of teething issues because people are using laptops that aren't their own. You're not in yet. We can't find a file over here. Joe or somebody. Okay. Um, we have. We put in the wrong password. Now we can't find the file. Okay. Yeah, we have issues over here. Yeah. Dimitri? Okay, good. Okay. It's all caps. A L T E S V. There you go. So this challenge. <laughs> You can uh, read what you're doing. You've got a column of numbers, and you first got to say, well, is the number odd or even? And if it's odd, I want to uh, take the first digit of the number. If it's even, I want to take the second digit. That's going to give me four digits, and then I want to add those together and get an answer. All right. So far, no formulas, no solutions. Oh, we do have... A solution here. 63 category characters so far. All right. So, so what brings you here? I like Excel. Okay. All right. And uh, and how do you work with Excel in your work? In I'm a financial analyst. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, All right. Quick this is this your first model? Off? It is. Yes. Good. Well, we have a solution over here, a 61 right. characters. 61 character solution uh, off the bat, that's good. I think that can be improved upon. Quick note to the finalists. Um, as we explained earlier about the time taken, um, re auto recording, it's, it's got that little bug that happened earlier. Everyone else, don't worry about that. Uh, in the event we get a tie for fourth place, there's, there's ways we can get access to that information to determine who did best. Hopefully it won't come up. So just ignore the time taken uh, metric. And so far, of the four on this side of the room, we've got one solution, and uh, three don't have a formula yet. Ah, we do have uh, another solution. How long, Oz? How long? Three minutes are down, you've got four minutes to go. You want to be uh, getting your first solution in pretty quick and then have a couple of minutes to see if you can improve it. We have a 56 from in India. 56 from Anoop. Well done. How you doing? How long? 156 is a new record. That can that can be made better. 156. At least it works. It works. That's right. That's I mean that's a good start. It's better than a no result. But I have faith in my finalists. I think whoever did that is going to improve it. The defending world champion. Certainly she will. No pressure. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. How else are we looking? 58. 58 characters for one solution. Oh, we have 55? 55. 52. So we have a 52 and a 55. And a 58. And 134,000. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now we don't have time. Five minutes down, two minutes to go. What sort of answers have we got, Oz? Uh, we have a 58. Who's going to do that? Pyramid over there, 58. Yes, yes. 56, 56 now. 56. 56. Bill, you got anything better than a 56 over that side? I think we have a 55 over here. 55. And who is that? Hang on, who has 55? Well, let's verify that. Oh, 52. 52? 52 from a new. We got a 50. From a new. 50 on this side. Yeah. 59. 52. Who's the 50, Oz? Here. Yes, Joseph Lau. Joseph Lau. We've got a 50. 50. We've got two 50s. Got another 50. All right. All right. 50s everywhere. 350. 50s. And at 50. Joseph's at 50. Who are the other 50 us? It was a deer made improvement. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. Is there a fourth person that's got an answer there yes. they're happy with? No, no, not yet. It's all a noob, Dermot and Joseph right now. Dan, how did the design team, what's what's the lowest you know of? We did sub 50. Under 50. Well, yeah. Less than a minute to go. Less than a minute. You'll see our answer in about a minute. One minute. Oh, yes. Next year we'll make everyone use the foreign keyboard. 30 seconds. I need a fourth person. There's a spot in the finals. Up for grabs. Alvin's got a 53. So right now we're at Anup at 50, Dim at a 50, Joseph at 50, Alvin at 53. Yes. Yell out at me if uh, you can beat that and I didn't announce your name. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, thank you. Stop. So, uh, Anoop at 50, Diamond at 50, Joseph Loud 50, Alvin 53. Is there anyone who uh, wants to lay claim to a better spot? No, well done. Congratulations to those four gentlemen. All right. We have our final eight. You will be back very soon. So can I just ask, while we look up the 35-character solution of the question design team, can Peter, Michael, Owen, Charles, Anoop, Diarmid, Joseph, and Alvin please situate yourself at a computer? Peter, Michael, Owen, Charles, use your own. Anoop, dear mate, Joseph and Alvin, please find one of the vacant computers and uh, get question three loaded and open up. So, this solution, very quickly talking about it, uh, it's what we call a single cell array formula. That's what the curly brackets mean. I won't describe exactly how it's going on, but Patrick doing the question on pen and paper, our esteemed judge Patrick O'Byrne essentially came up with this approach as well. And it's really just looking at the, uh, the mod function. Mod 2 says, is the number odd or even? The mid function says, I'm going to rip out a character. And I'm either going to rip out starting at the first or starting at the second, depending on the mod function. And I'm going to rip out one character in both cases. And then the sum function adds it all together. And uh, the rest is just managing syntax to get something Excel is agreeable with. And, uh, that's what we came up with. Okay, so this is the finals. Nine minutes for this one. It's a little bit harder, and I think there's a lot more different approaches. So we'll have a good scope. All right. Everyone on this side is ready with everyone, the password. Everyone on that side. The password is XFD. XFD. All capitals. XFD. XFD. Last column in Excel. All caps. Now, XFD. why XFD? Everyone here knows, right? We're all Excel nerds. It is the final column of the spreadsheet in uh, Excel 2007 and later. Are we getting this up on the screen? Yep. So, uh, Johanna Kiel, if you get question three when you're ready on the screen. Is everyone ready from the finalists? Sorry? Yep. 
Yeah, they can start. Cool. Okay. Right. Finalists, good luck. Nine minutes. You may hit start and begin. And the question is up on the board now for everyone else. Now, while you're working, I'm just also going to talk through what this one's meaning because, admittedly, it's not worded the best. <laughs> You've got, on the left-hand side, an end date and a duration. And you could think of this as being... Any, it could be, um, you know, a loan that ends on a certain date, had a duration, so the duration starts before. All on the top, we've got a regular stream of quarters, um, and we need to write a formula in one cell that we can drag down, drag across, and that formula is going to tell us zero if we're not yet reached the end date or after the end date. Sorry, not yet reached the duration start or after the end date. Otherwise, how many periods are left? So you'll see this first one. Something that ends at December 13 and lasts for one year. It obviously has to start March 13 because we're going to have four quarters then. One year, March 13, June 13, September 13, December 13. The answer it's expecting, as you can see down here, is 4, 3, 2, 1. That says in March 13, four quarters to go. December 13, I'm in my last quarter, and after that, all zeros. If you look at third we've got, one. We've got two formulas in progress on the left side. That's good. Third one, ends December 17, start, last three years, so it's got to start just after December 14. And you'll see here, it's all zeros. Up until just after December 14, we get our first non-zero because it's now commenced. And it's 12 because it lasts for three years, which is 12 quarters. Oh, we have a solution. First one starts at 12. We have a solution over there. We've got How long? 53 solution over there. And we've got one formula over here. 53 from Dimmed. He's killing it. 58 seconds, 53 characters. Well one done. Character a second. Of course. Now you've got about uh, eight minutes left to try and improve that, dear in case someone else overtakes you. There's prize money on the line here. The top three place getters will be paid cold hard cash, which is in envelopes in my pocket right now. <laughs> Unmarked. Yeah, well, hang on. Let me just uh, decide how much they should get. No, no. Uh, envelope one for the winner. Envelope two for second place. Envelope three for third place. Trophies as well. Five hundred dollars the winner. Three hundred dollars for second. Two hundred dollars for third. That'll buy some nice drinks tonight. We've got two formulas, no solution. Well, that's to be improved upon. Very helpful. So we're looking for one formula. We'll start by writing in that top left yellow cell. We then have to drag that same formula all the way across, all the way down. And uh, if it satisfies those criteria and gives us all our expected answers, we will see on the left-hand side here, this will get updated and tell us, yes, we've got a winner. If we get only one person who solves it, do they get all three trophies? <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, right. well, I mean, Bill, you got an answer to this. Maybe you get some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't understand the question. Just two formulas so far. One solution so far. 53 characters. There's money on the table waiting to be taken. Oh. It's okay, this one we gave him nine minutes, it's hard, you know. Okay, it's, so uh, we've got a 67 here. Right. Excellent, excellent work. And who was that? Was that Joseph again? No. Nope. Is uh, yep. Charlie. Charlie. We know there'll be a second place. We have, we have a second place. We need one more winner and then at least we can give away our money. So we've got three formulas out of four and one solution. While we're uh, waiting on this, someone did ask me a little while earlier, how does this relate to financial modeling? And look, admittedly, we're in a financial modeling competition and this, in its current context, is not traditional financial modeling. However, it tests a valuable set of Excel skills. It tests your ability to understand um, well, some problem solving faced with ah. a situation you haven't seen. And we have a solution. 
We have a solution. 76. 76. Well done. Who was that? 76. That was from, I can't quite see. Michael. D- good Mike. work, Michael. So we have at least three place getters. That's good. We have, that's five and a bit minutes gone. You got uh, about three and a half minutes uh, left. A solution with 70 here with Joseph. Well done. So yeah, it's, as this relates to financial one, they test your Excel knowledge, knowing the different functions you can use, how to use them. Um, if you've got the skills to do this well, you're going to have the skills to help you find the best solution, whatever that may be. And I'm not saying shortest is best, but it's evidence you know you've got a lot of tools in your toolbox, more tools than the next guy, and you can wield them better. And that's going to carry on when you're in a traditional financial and vinyl environment to help you decide what the best way to model a problem is. And so um, it's a bit of fun as well. These guys have been doing serious financial modeling all morning uh, in closed doors, one level down, and this is uh, a chance for them to, now they can be a bit more relaxed, have a bit more fun. So we've got four people... So far of uh, answers. Diamond's still in the lead, followed by Charles, followed by Joseph, followed by Michael Clark. We've got our 67 here. How much time oh, is there? 70. We are six and a half minutes down. Two and a half to go. A little under two and a half to go. There's room for improvement in all of them. And 68. Who was the 68? 68 is... Michael again. Michael's... Oh, Michael's... Got into the, the top three with that. Oh. Joseph, you need to respond. Two minutes to go. Their answer that came in less than one minute has still not been beaten seven minutes later. <laughs> so who has that one? Not for this Jim. Jim. Yeah. yeah. Bill. Bill. Right? Bill. Who, who had that one? That was Dermot had that. Dermot. 65 over here with Michael Clark. Oh, Michael just keeps refining. He's moved up to second place with that. Oh. Charles had a 67 and uh, Michael overtook him. Need to respond, Charles. We only have one answer on this side. Oh, yeah, we've, we've the, got uh, three. The west side of the room is not really uh, holding its own, <laughs> but they do have they do have the champion of this challenge. Less than a minute, guys. Give me about 40 more seconds. 52. We have a 52. Down to 52. You've you gone from 53 in one minute to 52 in eight minutes. I like that. I'll come back tonight and uh, maybe 48, 49 you'll have for me. <laughs> it's marginal returns. The, uh, the better your answer is, the, the more effort to get slightly better results. Oh, we have a 71. 71. 71? Well done. Who was that? A noob. A noob. Well done, mate. Well done. Right, noob. Ten seconds, guys. Five. I think we've got our top three. Two seconds. One second. Stop work. Well done, everybody. Relax. <laughs> Johan, if we could get our back to the uh, PowerPoint slide and we'll show our answer. So the winner was Diamond with a 52-character solution. Our question design team tackled this one as well, and our answer was, is pending. 36, 36 we did this in. This looks a little weird, and um, I'll confess here, you start with 365, because you're counting the number of days in the year, uh, or the number of days between you know, your target date and your end date. 
divide it by 365 to, to convert it um, to some years because you need to measure the duration against the years. And then there's a bit of tweaking because you know, leap years cause you grief and stuff. Um, so I try 360, it works. No, it counts by the day. So it compares the day up the top to the exact date here. It counts the days. Um, and it works. Anything between 362 and 336 here by trial and error will actually work. I just, I just said I need a bit lower than 365. Let's try 360. And, um, yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's readable. And one of my favourite things about this, and I'll just speak to it very quickly before we give the trophies out, is it's a nicer way of doing what we call Boolean logic. In Excel, often people write if, and they'll do some condition that's either true or false, and then if it's true, they'll give an answer. If it's false, they'll give zero. A much nicer way to do that is to sort of just do your condition. In this case, it's the F5 less than or equal to C7. Just do that and then multiply that by your expression. Um, the first condition will resolve to either true or false, one or zero. And so you still get the same result of if my test is my expression or zero. It's much better to just have the expression multiplied by my test. Okay, enough of that. So we have our top three. In third place, Charles Williams from the UK. Come up here, get your trophy, get your money. Well done. Next, Michael Clark from New Zealand, who are, in the spirit of the competition, came up with an answer in the first round and then kept improving. Second round, third round, fourth round, throughout the nine minutes, if we use the golf analogy, and uh, got to second place on the leaderboard. Well done, Michael. And the winner, who really could have had the last eight minutes off, <laughs> relaxing, thinking how to spend his $500 for winning, the Emirate Early superstar, well done. And I will now, uh, that, concludes, that concludes the live challenge. The contestants, now you can relax. There is nothing more you will be assessed on today. Enjoy yourselves, have fun, enjoy the rest of the afternoon, and I will uh, hand over to the next segment. John, thank you.